Hello, everybody, and welcome for our Aleph Tech Talks. I am your host, Uzma Sayyid, and today with us, we have another amazing personality, Mr. Truel Stalsween, and he is actually um, an MVP and a great, great expert at security, he would say. We have a couple of topics to explore today, and our first video would be focusing more or less on uh, automation. So hi, hi tools. How are you doing? Hello, I'm I'm doing fine. Thank you. Okay. So um, mastering automation tools, streamlining workflows, and making the right choices. Uh, this segment will delve into the importance of selecting the right data and making informed decisions for efficient automation. So I would love to actually, we would love to know your thoughts on this. Yeah, fantastic. So uh, automation is one of the things I uh, I really care about. I've been doing it uh, since before I started working in security. Even um, automation is, uh, I think it's today. There is a lot of uh, still a lot of tasks that's being done manually. Uh, I think a lot of the tasks being done manually are still performed by um, the people who don't know how to automate. Um, there is a gap there, and I think a lot of the people with uh, coding backgrounds and with um, the tech know-how to use uh, low-code and no-code solutions to automate, they will automate their own tasks usually, and then uh, we will uh, have that sort of divide where the people who know how to automate will be happier, I guess, because they're not doing as many manual tasks, uh, but they're they're leaving uh sort of the, the rest behind in that sense so a big goal of mine personally is to uh try to help uh, teach people about automation uh, and specifically low code and no code um i know security so that's what i focus on uh, but it's uh, it's very important topic uh, to talk about it especially now with with, with ai it's even becoming more uh interesting uh, you can create even more so that's uh, i think it's very cool it's a it's a very cool topic great anything you would like to sum it up or probably you know add up to uh, i think uh, for uh, specifically for this uh, let's say a talk uh, i wanted to focus uh, mostly on uh, what we call SOAR, uh, or security automation <clears throat> short, um, which is when we are getting, <clears throat> sorry, uh, incidents, uh, we would like to do something with them. Um, yeah. In security, we have something we call alert fatigue. Uh, in If you're working in the help desk, you know this as ticket fatigue, but it's basically where you're getting more uh, alerts than you are able to take away and as you said selecting the right data uh, a big uh, one part of this puzzle is selecting the right data to create uh, alerts on and and to work with the other part of it is to create the right uh, queries detections what you call them um, to get the right alerts but at the end of the day that can only get you so far and you need automation uh, to handle it at the end to help you select the most important cases and to sort of uh, streamline everything so that you can be more efficient. So I think that's uh, that's what I like to focus on and talk a little bit about. And any advice or a tip you would like to give us uh, or to our partners? Yeah, so uh, I'm going to share my screen a little bit um, and we will hopefully be able to dive into a little bit of uh, automation. So I'm going to talk, um, automation is the key here. I'm going to talk about uh, in the security monitoring perspective, because that's what I know. It's security, it's, it's security monitoring. Uh, <clears throat> but the points are going to be uh, universally uh, applicable. So you don't need to look at this and say, oh, this is only for security. You can take the same kind of concepts and uh utilize them for for other things as well in in azure or anywhere um so just to give a little bit of an introduction 
Uh, I work in a tool called Microsoft Sentinel. Uh, most have probably heard about it, but it's a security monitoring solution. So this is where we send all our data and we can create security alerts on the data. Security alerts are hypotheticals. So we have, uh, maybe we have a hypothetical scenario where if someone does this and this and this, that's a bad thing and we want to create an alert for that. Uh, these alerts we need to handle, uh, and that's the security analyst's job. And how we handle these incidents, we can use something called SOAR, or Security Orchestration Automation Response, to respond to these incidents uh, in order to make things more efficient. Uh, the first tip I would uh, start by giving is to uh, look at the SC200. Uh, the SC200 is uh, the uh, security analyst. Uh, so for everyone here who's a security analyst uh, looking into this, the SC200 is a must-have certification. Um, it dives into the different kind of automations you can do in Microsoft Sentinel. There are two options. Um, if you have any experience with coding, automation rules are like a very simple if setting. But uh, if you haven't coded before, this is a very low code, no code kind of thing where you say, if something is true, if, if A is true, then you will do B. So you can, an example, a practical example of this is if there is something that's coming in, you're having a lot of alerts looking like uh, malware was prevented at one endpoint. Now, this means malware was prevented. The uh, uh, endpoint detection and response program is doing its job. It's not something we need to look closer into on its own. So we can use an automation rule to say, if the title of an alert is malware was prevented, maybe we want to close it automatically. And we can use uh, automation rules to accomplish this. The other part of the solutions are called playbooks. For those of you who are familiar with Azure, these are logic apps. This is uh, low code. Um, and this is basically a collection, as it says here, a collection of response and remediation actions. So this means it's sort of like Lego robotics, where we have a big predefined library of actions we can take, and then we can plug in some different uh, values in order to uh, make it uh, do what we want it to do. So using this, we can combat alert fatigue by, and uh, these are just some examples. There are a lot of very great tools for, for doing things here and a lot of inspirations you can, you can pick up. Uh, but you can um, uh, create playbooks to, to respond automatically. Um, so this means maybe isolating endpoints. Uh, there are good examples from Microsoft on how to do this. Uh, and we can, we can maybe automatically isolate an endpoint there is the option to enrich. Uh, and this means that we can go out to other sources and we can check uh, IP address reputation, but we can also check against tools like VirusTotal and other similar tools. So we can get more data for our analysts automatically. So they can, when they uh, pick up an incident, they can have situational awareness immediately. Instead of having to go out and do all these things manually themselves, they will have the the, the situational awareness much quicker by doing this. Uh, another thing is that we can we can dive deeper. So we can use uh, SOAR automation to do correlation. And this means that we can, we can look up other uh, incidents and other uh, entities from, from other tools. Uh, we can look it up from Entra ID. So we can, we can enrich and we can do a lot of things. And it's only the imagination really that's stopping you from from uh, doing different things. Uh, a very good tip I would like uh, to give, this is uh, a playbook someone else has created. Uh, there's a very big community that push uh, a lot of automation to the Azure Sentinel repository. This repository has a major library of good ideas that you can use. Um, you can use these here. They are available to deploy as templates. Um, or you can take some inspiration from them. Maybe you have an idea. Uh, you can go here and get inspired. Maybe uh, you want to do something specific. So uh, let's say uh, you want to isolate something, uh, isolate the storage count. Then you can go in here and you can look at the 
uh, the JSON file and see, okay, what are they doing? You can deploy it and test it, and you can see uh, exactly what this automation does and how it works, or you can create uh, variations on it on your own. So this is a, a very good place to start uh, to look for this because it's one of the three keys data and good detection queries. The last is automation for security in, in, uh, in Azure. Uh, it's going to be uh, how well you're able to implement these flows in order to empower your analysts and your security teams to, to do more of the tasks where they need to think uh, and use their brain power uh, and less of the tasks where they have to copy paste an IP URL something uh, into other tools because that's that's not something that's uh, giving any value. It's something that should be automated, right? So that's uh, a little bit about it. Another tip I would, would suggest, and this is uh, something called STAT for Microsoft Sentinel. This is the Microsoft Sentinel triage assistant. It's created by uh, some Microsoft employees. It is a really good tool for starting um, to do automation. The idea here, uh, hopefully, um, is that uh, we want to um, be able to quickly deploy automation without having to do all this work and, uh, and stuff. So what STAT does is that it deploys um, a bunch of logic apps, modules, so you can uh, start without having to build all the, the, the complicated things yourself. So how it works is that it will take, uh, normally as, as a playbook, will take some, some incident, some security alert is happening, uh, and it will take um, the, the information out from this incident and gather more information. Hi, uh, Jules, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I yeah. think uh, uh, we can't see your video. It got stuck uh, from the moment oh. you were telling us about uh, the stat. Rukaya, was it the yeah. same for you? Yes, yes, it was for me as well. Okay, I'm so sorry. Can you uh, roll back to where you started uh, explaining about the triage and stuff? Yes, I can do that. Okay. Yes, so another thing, uh, another very great tip that I want to share uh, is something called Microsoft Sentinel Triage Assistant. Uh, so this is a custom connector um, that you can use in Logic Apps, but it's basically uh, a lot of pre-built playbook modules that you can use in your own playbooks. The idea with this is that you can reduce uh, the time it takes to build your own custom uh, automation. Uh, this is uh, implemented uh, by having the, uh, you, you install the stat solution and then you can call them from playbooks. And the base module, from stat will uh, take the information from the incident and then you can call the other modules and all the information is already formatted in the right way. You don't have to spend time on that. And so you can call the, the Azure AD, Entra ID module, Office 365, Threat Intelligence, and you can do enrichment. And it's a lot lower, uh, both in investment in terms of cost and time to get started. So uh, right now, I think it's 11 modules um it it requires uh some permissions and some setup but it's very well documented and easy to get started with and um for some samples as you can see here it's not really that complicated to get started on so we can feed we can take the information from an incident into the the base module the information is already pre-formatted so we can add the other modules uh, and then we can we can take that and add it to the incident, or we can do certain things based on this input. Uh, so the idea here, and, and the sort of main point of this is that we can, if you are having 100 alerts a day, and we are only able to solve 30, 40, maybe 50, we need some way to prioritize those 100 alerts in order for our analysts to start at the right point. So if you have a queue of 100 alerts, you want to handle the 50 most important ones, um, if you can only handle 50. And this is where automation comes in. Uh, so we can say, oh, if one of these 10 users are involved, that's a VIP user, 
that's a very high priority. That's something we need. Uh, we can say if we have been observing some threat intelligence, maybe indicators of compromise, uh, maybe it's a host name or an IP address we know is malicious, it's being used by threat actors. Ah, oh, we can upgrade the severity because this is an active uh, campaign we're following. And we can do this for a lot of things. Again, uh, if you're listening to this, you can imagine yourself like, what's what sort of thing could I create to, to help with this? And uh, you could most likely do it with playbooks in Azure. Uh, so this is, uh, at least for me, this is a very important part of security monitoring and it's going to help tremendously with the efficiency uh, that you're able to sort of handle uh, security incidents and it's going to help you to prioritize handling the right ones. So that's, uh, yeah. That uh, was a big, uh, uh, a lot of things there, but it's, uh, I think it's all very important. Yeah, I think that was definitely needed. And I'm sure uh, this uh, gives us and our partners a very, very good understanding into how automation works and what all things they need to be uh, considerate about. Uh, that was it, Truls. Thank you so much. I think the first topic went really, really well. And to our audience, I would like to say, that please do be connected with us because we're going to come up with our next video as well. Thank you so much and see you all soon.